Good morning on day five. So I just dropped off the first big bag of uh, yarn and it feels so good. Now I have an idea how it works in the local supermarket to buy stamps and all that stuff. At least I can buy it here locally so it's pretty easy. And I will go and pack some more and later today I have to go teach so I might film a little bit when I'm taking the train and yeah, going to town. Finally we have a day where it's not gloomy as you probably saw in the little intro. Um, I got some questions about my bullet journal, so I thought I could just show you my old one before retiring it, because it's uh, pretty much time. Um, so this is my old bullet journal, it's a Rodia. I don't know if you can see, it's, uh, it's embossed into this um, in the cover and it's very nice and squishy. It's a tiny bit smaller than the... Ding bets, ding bets that I got. I don't know why I kept saying ding baits in the other one, but it's ding bets. Um, so yeah, and uh, and I got some questions about what I write in it, what I use it for, and I pretty much just use it for everything and anything. When I first started bullet journaling, I think a year ago, maybe more, year and a half, I um, I tried to set it up really nicely with an index and everything as you learn you're supposed to do oh. but that's not really i cannot keep that up so i in this one it's much more relaxed and loose uh, on the first page you can see i just did a little bit of drawing and i have some post-its that i can just pull out and put into the journal wherever i want and I just recently got this uh, little um, monthly overview from Muji um, and they're the same, they're little post-its that I can put in. They're not that big but it's still nice to have um, because I don't do a monthly plan. So yeah, this is 2018 and here you can see it started out really pretty. Um, I normally do uh the drawings like uh, i do a little watercolor um all over the page for each day and then i fill in the names so let me just see what i have oh this is podcast episode one <laughs> uh, it seems like a long time ago now and yeah just filling out the pages every week i pick a new um I pick a new co color for each month. So I just do little doodles. So this one is green, again pink. Um, I tried doing this Instagram planner thing that I think I got from Hannah Lisa, um, who is a HLH design. She was talking about how you could set up your, keep track of your Instagram and stuff, but yeah. So as you can see, it's just weeks and weeks and weeks. I Sometimes there were some pages for podcasting and testing and other stuff. Oh, this one is gray. So pretty much I just have, just have fun with it and um, fill in whatever I think is interesting. And sometimes I do like, I don't like this one. Oh. This is a little, some little stamps I carved at some point as well. Um, let me just see if there's anything else interesting happening in here. That was weird. I just got a phone call from Los Angeles, but I didn't pick it up because generally I don't pick up phone calls from weird places. So hmm, if you try to call me, please send me an email um, unless I know I'm supposed to. Because I get some weird phone calls sometimes from India and stuff and I just don't want to, yeah. Okay, I can show you a little bit more. Here is, for example, the draft for my FIA cardigan. I normally do my, um, my designs in here if I get the idea when I'm about. And you can see here is the detail with the cable and 
yep I also make to-do lists in this one just pretty standard um, and here I tried out this pen uh, that's sepia instead of normally I use the um, this one Faber Castell in black I, I prefer the 3 0 0.3 um, but I also got a set of uh, yeah pens in sepia so I hope I'm not showing off anything I shouldn't show off but it's all in Danish so it probably doesn't matter uh, some blue pages and um, oh here is my design idea for the um, uh, Hulebear shawl that is also currently in testing it just should be coming out and I think I don't think there's anything else I want to show in here is my <laughs> I taped it so I'm not gonna show it's my design idea for um, the sweater I will have published in the next issue of Lane in issue seven um, it's already the secret is already out and if you have if you are subscribed to the newsletter there is a sneak peek today but maybe before this goes up it will be out also other places oh that's super exciting and the pictures are just well i've seen one but the picture is beautiful I, i'm just not going to show you the sketch because yeah it's maybe giving too much away um what else what else what else so this is for example the last month where i put in the little uh, monthly overview and i have in the back pages i generally use for like list for baby names and design to do's and uh, tags <laughs> ideas for my patterns name ideas and so on um, I also tried to do like a little keeping track on the patterns but I'm not that good at doing keep following up with it so it just gets yeah tried to do a list of birthdays that got uh, that I didn't really follow up on and in the back there is um, the little pocket so just like for have anything interesting in here not really um, so that's it that's almost one year of a bullet journal um, again I just do the weeks I don't do much else so yep oh and I might as well just show you how my waiting for Henry socks are working up they look super adorable in the tweed yarn so just a little update there i will maybe see you tonight uh, when i go teaching as i said so until then work and it's actually five o'clock but it's completely dark except from all the Christmas lights I don't know if you can see them or if you can hear me but I don't feel like <laughs> speaking too loud it's definitely one of my first tries at vlogging outside um, but yeah going to teach now I'm uh, teaching a class of Spanish for two hours and then I will go back home I will be home around 8, 9 o'clock depending if I catch the train or not so I have to a train ride and a bike ride before I'm home so I just arrived in the classroom and uh, it's actually in a normal primary school so it's uh, in a classroom that's being used by graders I think that's primary school I'm not sure we have a different school system here so but I just wanted to show you that they put up garlands all around in the top and also take a look at the windows <laughs> it's super cozy they prepared for Christmas in all of the windows so I'm gonna sit and do a little bit of uh, 
uh, preparing the lesson, of course, and then I will. Um, what do I think? I'm gonna uh, edit the videos and try to get them up for you, so we have some blog blogmas content. Okay, see you next time. Bye.